What's up guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. So today we have in front of us a CR10 Smart. It's got a whole bunch of new features that's actually gonna take things to the next level. Let's unbox this baby. Well, hey PJ, why does it say Z2 on the box? I'm not sure, let's find out. Typical foam for protection. Don't need that. After sales card. Some filament. Again, a small roll. At least it's better than the bag. Um, we've got here some support bars in the first piece of foam. Let's pull it out. It's actually, uh, I'll put this filament down for now. And get this box aside. Okay, so it looks like inside the box here, they've pre-assembled the support rods. I like that, that's nice. Saves you a little bit of time, be a little bit easier for people. We've got our spool holder. Let's see if, ah, there we go. And uh, some hardware. Well, that's it for that one. Next. So, what I'll do is I'll flip the box so you guys can see how it comes packaged. They do, all the Creality always does a really good job protecting their printers, in my opinion. Um, they got the foam in all the right places. So hats off to Creality for that. I'm definitely interested in this printer with all the smart features. Okay, we'll carefully take the upper gantry out of the box. Oh, there she is. Okay, now for this next step, just to make things easy, I'm going to move the bed here. There's some extra foam to pull out. Okay, we've got the usual hardware bag with some tools, a spatula. Definitely interesting, there's a different style spatula there. Um, looks like maybe you get a 10 mil and an eight mil wrench, that's nice. A uh, few things, we'll take a look what's inside there in a moment. Okay, next, the bottom brace. Oh, look at that, it's got an internet plug on it. Interesting. Let's just get rid of that and break the lights in the same process. <laughs> Whoopsie. We'll blame our cameraman for that, for putting the lights too close to me. So Jaron, that one's on you, buddy. All right, so on first glance, it's definitely different than any other CR I've seen. Uh, the upper plate has a whole bunch of screws on it. Um, we've got a touch screen on here that looks to be new as well. There we go, we got lighting again, guys. That's wonderful. Um, don't blame the guy doing the video, we'll blame the cameraman for putting the lights too close to me while I throw things around. <laughs> So on first glance, it's pretty interesting. I do notice uh, a few different things, like on the side here, we got a power button, an actual button, pretty interesting. And we've got an internet port. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see uh, how this goes. Now guys, keep in mind, this is my first reaction to this. I didn't watch any videos prior to it, so you're getting my raw opinion on this. All right guys, so what I'm gonna show you is what comes in, in everything here. So you get that. 200 grams of white PLA, which is uh, just a little bonus to come with the printer so you can start printing. I do recommend getting extra filament. You're gonna need it. So they give you a little mini spatula, which is new to me. I've never seen one of these in a Creality um, kit. So next you get all your tools to assemble it and a couple extras for tightening up eccentric nuts and wheel nuts in the future. This is interesting, an actual wrench fitted with a nine. So this is a nine millimeter. All the provided uh, hex wrenches or Allen keys. Oh, look at those cute little cutters with a locking system. That is interesting. So 
they're really trying to be different this time for sure. Uh, kind of impressed so far, not gonna lie. I like the CR10 series printers. Uh, they work well with a few upgrades uh, down the road. Uh, what we have here is a nozzle cleaning tool, it's just a little needle, um, as well as a little bit of hardware to put everything together. So not really much to it. Looks like they gave you some spare nozzles, which, oh, interesting. Cool, these are different nozzles. Um, so that'll be new as well. Uh, some push fitting clips, etc. you get some spares. Uh, looks like we have a USB, micro USB here, and an eight gigabyte card, so great. Awesome, they definitely changed up what comes inside the package, so I hope you guys like that. Here we go, guys, so we're gonna assemble this printer. My opinion, very simple. Four basic bolts to hold your gantry on, and then some of the hardware for your uprights that support the gantry. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna put half of the printer, not half, but a little bit over so I can get these bolts installed without tipping the printer on the side. I'm gonna have to come around here so I can show you now carefully bring these in. You don't wanna damage any of the motor pins. So that's another thing that's good. This is a good little tip, guys. Check all your motor pins before you plug them in. Make sure everything's good. That way, if they were, you know, potentially damaged in shipping, which should rarely ever happen, but you never know. So you might, might wanna give that a little look. Just check out your motor pins ahead of time. So I'm just gonna carefully see if I can put that in and just get it started. I'm definitely not gonna tighten all of these down yet. I just wanna get them started. Now, these are the long bolts that are provided in the kit. <laughs> Take the four millimeter hex wrench and just snug them down. You don't want to over tighten this yet. But you want to tighten the gantry evenly. So then to make life easy again, let's just carefully take the printer, flip it 180. So this is the easiest way to put your gantry on without having a hard time. Again, it's the four mil provided hex wrench. Okay, so now we're gonna flip the printer onto its side. Now make sure you flip it onto the side that doesn't have the power switch and internet cable. Now we're gonna wanna snug these down. I like to go from one side to the next, just tightening that gantry down one at a time, remembering not to over tighten. And now your upper gantry is installed. Next step I'm gonna go for is your support bars. Now, the longer screws provided are going to go on the bottom with the three mil wrench. And then the short ones are going to go into the top. You might have to adjust the screw to fit in to the bracket. Also, you're gonna wanna take the 10 mil wrench and tighten down the bolt. I'll just turn the printer, let you guys see here. And turn the bolts to tighten everything down, secure it. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. So guys, now that we've got the upper supports in place, we're gonna move on to something I like to check before any printer, uh, before moving forward with plugging in all the wires, etc. So there's some eccentric nuts located on the wheels for the Z, X, and Y. Now ours on our bed came a little loose, no big deal. I'm just gonna move the bed forward here. Now, we'll see if we can get our cameraman to zoom in on this. Now, even the bed has them underneath here. There's gonna be some eccentric nuts to tighten down to make sure the bed doesn't wobble around. Now, you also wanna make sure when you're tightening these, you don't over tighten them. We don't want things too tight, but we don't want things loose. 
Now I tend to try and do the even turns on each wheel, but we'll see. So you want them to have a little bit of slip, but not so snug that your bed's wobbling around. See, one of them completely spins freely, so we're gonna turn that eccentric nut until it doesn't. Now one in the front is a little too loose as well. Got a little bit of slip. Back one a little bit more. There we go. So now the bed is moving nice and smooth and not shaking around. So now we're gonna plug in the Z optical sensor. Tight fit. Okay. Next, the provided ribbon cable. It'd be pretty hard to mess this one up because one's bigger than the other. Okay. Oh, let's not forget that uh, cool little protection for the screen. And that's it guys. Oh, nope. Look at me forgetting things. We got to install our spool holder. So I like to loosen the T-nuts off all the way. That way they'll turn inside the, oop, uh, literally all the way. That way they'll turn inside the extrusion. And this one looks like it doesn't have a locking nut, so it just threads in and locks in place, which is pretty cool. I'm liking that. Okay, guys, let's move around and we're gonna plug this in and take a look at our screen functionality. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on for the first time. Now the button on the side, you're gonna have to hold it until you hear a little click and then the machine will turn on Go through the load up screen. Still looks very similar to the CR10 and Ender 5 Plus touch screens. Go ahead and, you know, see what's in here. We've got move access. So I'm assuming this is to, and yep, the feed rate for filament to get your filament in there. I choose to always do that manually. I stay away from those functions. Uh, the motors on and off is here. Preheat PLA, ABS. Oh, one click cooling. I'm assuming cools down the printer for you. Um, your typical temperature. Oh, light control, look at that. Ah, oh, it's got an LED in there. That's really interesting. All right, we'll shut that light off now. One touch shutdown section. I'm, I'm not gonna press it. I'm assuming that actually will shut off the printer. And uh, the leveling procedure. Let's go ahead and uh, go through this. So now the machines went through its 16 point bed leveling process. So we know that works. Now you can go ahead and set your Z offset. Now, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set the Z level offset. You just need to press that button in the center there. Okay, and then we're gonna take our sheet of paper. Doesn't slide underneath at zero, so let's go ahead and move that up a bit until I can get the paper under it. Only lets me go to, oh, there we go. So now it's loose, that's not good. So we're gonna go down one. It's starting to get some drag. Okay, I like a little bit more. That's a little too tight. So there's a, see how I, can, I can't really push forward. Now I can push backwards and forwards. Let's go up one more. That's perfect. And that's the basic functions, guys. Where's the home section? Move access. Here's your homing section. I'm assuming this homes everything. 
as well as able to move all the accesses. So under the hood here, we've got their 32-bit board. Um, it looks like the upgraded one for the CR6. Now this one's the CRC V1.1. Also they have their own version of a Raspberry Pi in here. Pretty interesting because they added a UFL connector with an antenna, which is pretty neat. Also has um, all the software for the their version of what looks to me to be like a Raspberry Pi. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty much straightforward and basic. It's got a nice big cooling fan here to keep everything nice and cool, blowing directly on the driver. So once that fits back on, it's blowing directly on your drivers, which is really good. So there's under the hood, guys. Okay, so now that we've got it all assembled, everything's together, we've tensioned our belts. That's really important to make sure you got the right tension. I'm gonna take this down into the tech room and have some fun with it, figure out the web interface. It apparently works with your phone. Uh, you can slice from your phone and send things wirelessly to your printer. So I'm gonna go play with that stuff and get some prints running on this thing. We'll be back with you guys real soon. And we're back. So in conclusion, guys, this is actually a really cool printer. Uh, I did like the fact that it had really good, easy way to release the filament as well as getting it in. Um, so let's take a look at some of the prints I did. So we'll start off, I did these channel locks. Everything's printed out of PLA. Then I did the Matter Hackers Astronaut. And this multi-purpose like plier holder where it's modular where you can take it apart and use less pieces or more. So that was a useful print, um, just clips together. And then we're always having Allen keys and the bigger Allen wrenches lying around. So I decided to print this in two colors because I ran out of filament and the filament sensor worked great. Um, you can hang it on the wall and now we can put all our Allen keys in place. One more thing guys. The Wi-Fi box that's inside here. Creality has a very descriptive video, so we're gonna go ahead and leave you a link in the description, as well as maybe Jaron will pop it up somewhere around here, over here, whatever he does. And uh, don't forget guys, like, share, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Let us know in the comments what type of content you wanna see, because we definitely are up for the challenge. See you in the next video.